Welcome to today's very, very, very special episode of Podpad Studios. Podpad Studios, episode seven. Now, as you can see, the workshop has been converted into Mission Control, Pod X. And yes, we have sent Mrs. Breaker into space. Now, she's currently orbiting the Earth at approximately 37.2 miles an hour. And we'll be talking to her live very, very shortly. Now, you're probably asking why. Why? It's been a lifelong ambition of mine to place a middle-aged woman into space. Everything, everything that I have done to this moment, all the models, the building, uh, the making, has led me up to this moment, this moment, the hard work, the blood, the sweat and the tears, it brings a tear to my eye. It's led me to this moment. Now currently Mrs. Breaker is in radio blackout, orbiting the Earth. It's going to be a very exciting time for her. She's going to be conducting experiments, some very unusual ones. While she's in radio blackout, we're going to have a look at what happened earlier on the launch and we're going to meet her intrepid co-pilot. Um, we will see Mrs. Breaker exiting the clean room, waving to the crowds just before she goes to the launcher vehicle. And we will, as I said, be meeting her very, very highly qualified pilot who has been out now on hundreds of missions, hundreds of missions into orbit. Anyway, let's let's have a look at the launch that took place earlier today. Uh, here we have live shots now, live feed. Nothing yet, nothing yet. She's a, and there is the pilot, the highly qualified pilot of the mission. Now, Mrs. Breaker has been in the clean room. It's a very sterile room. She will be emerging soon. And here we go. Here she comes. Yes, wow. Look at this space suit. This is the most stylistic, amazing science fiction suit you're ever going to see. The helmet, the boots. The boots, by the way, have been specially designed uh, for zero gravity. Uh, and the helmet, of course, is uh, specially designed for the orbiter itself. Uh, oh, this is from earlier today. Let's let's have a listen to what Mrs. Breaker's saying in the scene. He stays at home and he, he, he gets to make things all the time and I'm the one that bloody has to go to space and I'm a bit worried this suit is flipping hot now but oh, I reckon it's going to be cold in space and also it's really tight. What happens if I get any weight? What happens if I gain any weight in space? And what's the food like in space? What? what? There's no food on the way. What, all the time I'm in the Arthur Dent... There's no food. Hold on, hold on. No one told me this. We gotta, we gotta pack some sarnies. We gotta get some sarnies sort, sorted now. I, I need my box. I need my sarnie box. Oof. It's just stuff is too much of it. What about my foot? Oof. I can't move now. It's just too much. Uh, getting hungry already. So that was uh, Mrs. Breaker in the clean room. You could see how she was uh, getting prepared earlier on today. Now, uh, back to the live shots now. Mrs. Breaker actually outside the clean room. Now, this is a very difficult time because obviously she's got to psychologically prepare herself um, to move into the transfer vehicle, which will then take her through to the launch site. Now she's waving to the crowd. There. Now uh, she, we can see Mrs. Breaker now moving to the transfer vehicle. This is a momentous moment. Uh, it, this is going to first for a middle-aged woman in space, especially launched from Pod Pad X. Now here we go. She's getting into the launch vehicle. Uh, it's a very difficult time. It's a very um, bulky suit in certain respects, but quite lightweight in certain respects. Uh, and obviously the important supplies there. You can see the pilot already set up in the transfer vehicle. And yes, and now Mrs. Breaker is reading the instruction manual. I'm not sure what that's for, whether that's for the launch vehicle or whether that's for the transfer vehicle. But anyway, so um, yeah, so we're waiting on the site now. Uh, Mrs. Breaker is uh, uh, prepared. She's psychologically preparing herself for this. Uh, here we go. Here we go now, folks. We are now moving towards the launch vehicle. This is such an exciting time. And the, and the transfer vehicle is moving away. And... Uh, there appears to be a problem. Uh, has the mission been aborted? Have we scrubbed the mission? I, I, I'm just checking with mission control now. and No, they, they, they're not quite sure what the problem might be. Uh, there was a mention of food earlier, but we, we're not quite sure what that means. But no, are they going? Are they going? Is it? Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. And they're moving off to the launch vehicle. This is... Uh, uh, we've arrived at the launch site. Uh, Mrs. Breaker is uh, 
exiting the transfer vehicle. Now, a very difficult climb now up to the launch pad. Uh, several hundred steps before it gets to the launch pad. Um, as we can see there, it's uh, a very difficult climb. And, and Mrs. Breaker will be emerging onto the launch area where we can see Arthur Dent waiting there to transport her into orbit. It, it's, it's a very emotional time, this waving to the crowd. They're both waiting to get into the launch vehicle. Uh, and here we go, here we go. The uh, special transfer doors will be opening soon. These are specialist doors that have been optimised for high speed to allow the astronauts in an emergency to escape. Um, so Mrs Breaker there again waving to the crowd. Uh, huge crowd gathered here today, I must say, huge crowd. And a um, uh, very special time, in fact. It's... Uh, Oh, oh, the pilot is the pilot is already in the in the command vehicle. He's he's ready to go. So the pilot is already in Arthur Dent. Um, yep, yeah, and uh, yeah, this is uh, it, it's amazing to watch. I mean, I, I'm actually looking at the live feed now, and it's uh, it, it is amazing um, to think that launching from Pod X is this uh, this ordinary ordinary TV presenter. And um, anyway, here we go now. She's she's. She's entering the, the launch vehicle. <sighs> Mrs. Breaker is going to go through some control tests now, getting on her seatbelt. Safety is very, very important when you're going into space. Now, unfortunately, there aren't anybody, there's nobody there to help Mrs. Breaker at the moment. I'm afraid all the, uh, all the launch staff have been furloughed. So she's going to have to do this on her own. But she is highly qualified and highly trained. So there, there shouldn't be a problem at all. There's the control systems that Mrs. Breaker, and then, and then we see the door closing. We see the door closing on the on the uh, launch vehicle. This is exciting now, folks. We, we are, we're getting close to the launch moment. Um, it, it, she just is a comms check now. It's a few comms checks. This is mission control, mission control. Hello. Hello. Hello? This is Mission Control. Hello? Mission control. Can you hear me? Hello? This is uh, Mission Control. Look, mission control. I can hear you, but I don't think you can hear me. Come in. Arthur oh, Dent, don't forget, you've got to press the button. I think, why can't we use phones for this bit? They always work. It's a lot simpler. There's no point using a phone because the phone's not going to work in space. You need to know what's using radio and press the red button. Ugh. Mission Control calling Arthur Dent. Can you hear me? We've been through this. You're Arthur Dent. Oh. We're Mission Control. Oh, OK. Arthur Dent. This is Arthur Dent calling Mission Control. Come in, Mission Control. This is Mission Control. Good luck, Arthur Dent, and prepare for launch. So that looks like that concludes the uh, radio checks. Five, uh, four, three, two, one. Wow, this is, this is such an exciting time. I, I can hardly contain myself. Mrs. Breaker is going to space. Wow. So, um, sorry, that, it was such a, an emotional moment, that, seeing that launch and watching Mrs. Breaker being blasted into orbit. Um, not something you see every day. Anyway. Um, it will be a while now before Mrs. Breaker reaches uh, orbit in Arthur Dent. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to have a look at how the launch vehicle was constructed, uh, some of the technical specifications behind it. Uh, and then when we come back, we will uh, see if we can uh, catch up with Mrs. Breaker live in orbit.
there you have it, the story of the launch vehicle's construction, originally named the Fly VR, uh, but the name was then fondly changed to Arthur Dent, after, of course, the famous space traveller Arthur Dent. So we will be going live. Yes, we will be now going live to Mrs. Breaker in space. Now, this has been, again, this is this is a monumental time. She's been in Radio Blackout now for a while. And uh, she's, as we said before, going to be conducting some very interesting experiments. Um, and I believe we're going over now. Live, are we, are we? I'm just checking now. I'm just being told that the feed is coming through. Are we, are we there? Mrs. Breaker, is Mrs. Breaker in space? Can you hear me, Mrs. Breaker? Yes, yes, yes. I believe we have live pictures coming through now of Mrs. Breaker in space. Yeah, yeah, I know. This is uh, Mr. Yeah. Patrol, Mr. Oh. Patrol calling no. oh. Oh. oh, so two fries and barbecue sauce, yeah? This is Mission Control, Did you... Mission Control Li listen. calling Arthur Dent, yeah. calling Arthur Dent, over. You listen. are on live television, Arthur I gotta Dent, go. over. i got to go, I'm on TV, I'll see you later, bye. This is Mission Control, Mission Control calling Arthur Dent, come in, Arthur Dent. Mission Control, Mission Control calling Arthur Dent, I can hear you, live, over. Hello, hello. This is Mission Control calling Arthur Dent. I can hear you live. Over. Copy. No, 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 no. We've been through this. I'm Mission Control. You're Arthur Dent. Over. Hello, hello. Arthur Dent calling Mission Control. Can you hear me? Over. Yeah, this is Mission Control. We can hear you loud and clear, Arthur Dent. So, if you, we can see you as well. Hi. 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 Hi, Mission Control. This is Mrs. Breaker. I'm in space. Okay, Mission Control. This is uh, what's it like in space then? Oh, oh, you, <laughs> you're right. Everything's floating around. Well, some of it's floating around, like you said it would. It's I've gone weightless, and also I'm a bit hungry. Uh, this is Mission Control. We did uh, pack some protein packs. Oh, you were your seat. Over. No, well, I brought, I was packing my sandwiches, but I think I left them in the transfer vehicle. Can you ask in uh, Lost Property whether anyone's handed in a, a Paddington lunchbox? Yeah, Mission Control. This is Mission Control. We, we can do that. Or we can check, but we were, we're not sure how we can get it up to you, though. You don't know, need to worry about that, mate, because i got an Uber in, so everything's okay there. Plus... Last message again. We, uh, we, say that message again. Don't worry about that, Mission Control. I got an Uber. I've ordered myself some chips, so don't worry about that. Plus, I got my banana experiment. I'm going to start doing that if that's okay with you. Over. This is Mission Control. Uh, we, we, actually, we can see you in the live feed at the moment. So, yes, yeah, uh, go ahead and run your uh, banana experiment. Over. Okay, well, the idea was I was just going to try and eat a banana in space. Don't forget to tell them to hit the bell. Ping! 